welcome to another tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to crochet this cozy beanie. It's pretty, pretty pattern and I think it's simple pattern. I will show you step by step how to make it. Okay, and I have used this amazing yarn. It's called Nebia from Lanagato. It contains 70% uh, merino wool, 15% uh, silk, 15% alpaca wool, and it's 50 grams and 200 meters. And I I will need three balls of this yarn for an adult size. Okay, I'm going to use double yarn. It's up to you if you will use the same yarn as me or if you will use any other yarn. Uh, and I'm going to use four millimeters crochet hook. If you would like to have uh, the border of your beanie more tight, you can use 3.5 millimeters crochet hook. So now start with a slip knot and chain 10. I'm going to make chain chain 10 for an adult size. You can make 11 if you want. Uh, you can make 9 if you want. If you are making a beanie for child, you can make 7 or 8. It's up to you. Okay, now we are going to make single crochets. Start in the second chain. This is the second chain and make first single crochet. Then make one single crochet in each chain across. And this is last single crochet of this row. So, last single crochet and always at the end of each row, chain one and turn. And from the second row, we are going to use just back loops. So, always start in the first back loop. So when you turn it like this, you can see well where is the first stitch and you will not use stitch, but just this loop. This is back loop. And you have to make one single crochet in each this back loop across, but at the end, uh, the last single crochet will go to the stitch. Okay, and how I said, last single crochet goes always to the stitch, not to the back loop. So you both loops and make last single crochet. Chain one and turn your work. And you will repeat it again and again. So start always in very first back loop. And last single crochet of each row goes always into the stitch, not into the back loop. So keep going this until you reach the desired length and that length corresponds to the circumference of the beanie and you need to have odd number of rows, odd number of stitches. Okay, now we have to join both sides together so 
put it to each other like this and I'm going to use slip stitches it's up to you if you want to use yarn needle and sew, sew it together with yarn needle it's up to you you can but I'm going to crochet And I'm going to use just back loop here on this side and stitches on this side and make one slip stitch in each in each stitch in this back loop this stitch uh, across And now let's make the pattern. So chain one and change your size of crochet hook. I will use 4.5 millimeters crochet hook. And we are going to start with double crochet. And we will, we will alternate, we will alternate double crochet and slip stitch. And this is row and this is space between rows and you will always make double crochet uh, into the stitch between rows. So I'm going to show you start with double crochet it's this stitch space between rows. So make one double crochet and into the stitch on the row here make slip stitch now double crochet so into the stitch between rows make double crochet here slip stitch and continue working like this all the way around we have started with double crochet and we have we have to uh, finish with double crochet always in each round so here goes last double crochet of the round and each round you have to finish with a slip stitch in the first stitch not in chain so we joined the round with a slip stitch now chain one and turn So next round, start with double crochet again, and I will use this uh, this stitch, and it's the first stitch here, and here 
a slip stitch from previous round. So you will always make the double crochet into the slip stitch from previous round and here is a double crochet from previous round. So there will go slip stitch. So each round start with double crochet and this stitch and each round we have to finish with double cr crochet. So double crochet, slip stitch, alternate double crochet and slip stitch all the way around and you have to make always double crochet in the slip stitch from previous round and slip stitch make in the in double crochet from previous round Okay, I made the last double crochet of this round and then you have to finish the round with a slip stitch and make the slip stitch in the first stitch, not in chain. Always chain one and turn your work. Start with double crochet so first double crochet goes into this stitch and then slip stitch double crochet slip stitch and continue working like this all the way around and I'm making an adult size so uh, I will make 20 to 20 two and a half centimeters so so make 22 centimeters high and then meet me back again and I will tell you what next because we will decrease so remember first is double crochet last is double crochet always make a slip stitch in the first stitch not in chain at the end of each round make a chain one and turn okay the height of my beanie is 20 22 centimeters and now we have to decrease so yarn over insert your hook into the first stitch grab the yarn pull it through you have three loops on your hook grab the yarn pull it through two and now yarn over and skip one stitch Skip this stitch and go to this stitch. Grab the yarn, pull it through. Now, I'm going to do it again. Now, you have four loops on your hook. Grab the yarn, pull it through two. And then grab the yarn and pl pull it through all these three loops. And we have decreased now. Slip stitch in next stitch, double crochet in next stitch, slip stitch in next stitch, and now we have to decrease again. So, yarn over, insert your hook into this stitch, into the into the next stitch, and decrease again. So now you have to skip one stitch and go into this stitch. 
and finish your decrease. So in this round, you have to decrease every fourth stitch. So now slip stitch, now double crochet and slip stitch and decrease again. So in this round, you have to decrease every fourth round all the way around. Okay, I'm at the end of the round and this is last decrease. So uh, you should make a last decrease and then one slip stitch, one double crochet. Um, and I'm going to do it again because uh, I made the I made decrease in wrong stitch so again yarn over and set your hook into the next stitch pull it through two skip one and here is the right stitch where I have to insert my hook and finish dick Crease. <laughs> okay, now slip stitch. It's last slip stitch and last double crochet. Then you can join the round with a slip stitch. Not here, it's chain, but in this stitch. Chain one and turn your work. In next round, you will uh, not decrease. So start with uh, double crochet, then slip stitch, double crochet, slip stitch, and alternate uh, double crochet and slip stitch all the way around. Okay, next round will be decrease round. So chain one, turn your work and we are going to decrease with the same way as before. So you will alternate previous, uh, previous two rounds. So now it's round of decrease. So decrease uh, every fourth stitch all the way around and then will be round without change. So without decrease and you will I'll, uh, you will repeat these two rounds three more times. So I have decreased, now slip stitch. In next stitch, double crochet. And in the next stitch, slip stitch. And then you have to decrease. So here we have to decrease. And you will repeat this section um, all the way around. So how I said, you have to uh, repeat these two rounds, round of decrease and round without change, three more times. And this is how it looks like. And now you can cut the yarn and use yarn needle and we will uh, make a few stitch around with yarn needle. So make a stitch inside out in every stitch.
Okay, and then you can tighten it and you can see there is still a little gap. So you have to make a few, a few more stitches around in the same way. And my beanie is slouchy beanie. If you want to uh, have the beanie without slouch, uh, you can start to decrease uh, three centimeters earlier. <laughs> so um, my uh, decrease uh, or decrease part uh, is um, three centimeters. So you can start to decrease um, when you have 17 centimeters, then you can start to decrease if you want to have your beanie without slouch. Okay, I'm on the wrong side and I will make a few more stitches on the wrong side and then I will make a simple knot and that's it. Okay, and now you have to weave your all tails in and you have done your beanie. I hope you like the pattern because I like the pattern so much and I really like this material. I really like this yarn because it's so cozy and so, so nice. So I'm going to show you how to weave the tail in. Okay, I have done my beanie. Uh, you can use pom-pom, you can sew the pom-pom if you want. If you want, you can leave it like this. I think it's nice with pom-pom and without pom-pom as well. And my beanie is 25, 25 centimeters long. And I really, really like the pattern. I hope you like the pattern too if you do put the thumbs up. Thank you for watching and see you soon.